bid mass, or order of operations. Addition, subtraction, multiplication and division are mathematical operations. When only two numbers are combined using one operation, the process is simple. However, when a calculation involves more than two numbers and more than one operation, the process is not as clear. For example, we could calculate this as 9 add 7 equals 16, then 16 multiplied by 3 equals 48, or we may calculate it as 7 multiplied by 3 equals 21, then 9 add 21 equals 30. Both methods have been calculated correctly, but only the second method gives us the correct answer. To make sure we all get the same correct answer, mathematical calculations should always be completed using the same order of operations. This correct order is determined by the bid mass rule. The order of calculations is, if given in the problem, calculations inside brackets should always be calculated first. Next, calculate any indices given in the sum. Then. Do any division and multiplication calculations in the order they are given in the sum. Finally, calculate any addition or subtraction sums in the order they are given. Brackets are used to change the order in which calculations are performed. For example, 9 add 7 multiplied by 3 with no brackets is calculated in the following way, giving a final answer of 30. However, if brackets are placed around 9 add 7, then according to the bid mass rule, the order of calculations change and should be carried out in the following way, giving a final answer of 48. Now we know what the bid mass rule is, let's take a look at some examples where we can apply it. Calculate 28 divided by 4 add 3 multiplied by 3. Following the order of bid mass, we first see if there are any brackets. There are no brackets, so we move on to indices. As there are no indices either, we can now look for any division or multiplication. Division comes first. 28 divided by 4 equals 7. So now we have the sum 7 add 3 multiplied by 3. Still following the bid mass rule, we now have to calculate the multiplication part of the sum. 3 multiplied by 3 equals 9. So we're now left with the simple sum of 7 add 9. Finally, we now calculate any addition or subtraction. There's no subtraction, so the last step is to carry out the addition. 7 add 9 equals 16. So the final answer is 16. Calculate 12, subtract 4, multiplied by 3, add 6. Following the bid mass rule, we know that we must first work out any calculations inside brackets. Here we have 12 subtract 4 inside of brackets. 12 subtract 4 equals 8, so we now have 8 multiplied by 3, add 6. Next, we look for any indices in the sum. As there are no indices, we move on to division and multiplication. There's no division, but there is a multiplication. 8 multiplied by 3 equals 24. So we're now left with the simple sum of 24 add 6. Finally, we can calculate any remaining addition or subtraction sums. We're only left with the addition sum of 24 add 6, which equals 30. There are no more operations remaining, so the final answer is 30. Calculate 4 squared divided by 2 multiplied by 5. Working our way through bid mass, there are no brackets, so we move on to indices. Here we have 4 squared, which is the same as 4 multiplied by 4, which equals 16. So we now have the sum 16 divided by 2 multiplied by 5. Next in the bid mass rule is to carry out any multiplication or division in the order given in the sum. We can see that division comes first. 
16 divided by 2 equals 8, giving us the sum of 8 multiplied by 5. Carrying out multiplication next, 8 multiplied by 5 equals 40. We are now left with no further operations, so 40 is the final answer. Sometimes it helps to draw in brackets, even if they're not strictly necessary. For example, calculate 9, multiplied by 6, add 7, multiplied by 2. In this example, as we have two multiplications to calculate, it may be helpful to draw in brackets, like so. So now we have brackets, following bid mass, we first start by completing the sums that appear inside the brackets. 9 multiplied by 6 equals 54, and 7 multiplied by 2 equals 14. Leaving us with the sum 54 add 14. There are no indices to calculate, nor are there any divisions or multiplications left to calculate. There's no subtraction either, so all that is left to do is to carry out the addition. 54 add 14 gives us a final answer of 68.